Hello everyone, uh, welcome to CAP 5415 Computer Vision. My name is Yogesh Rawat and I will be your instructor for this course during this semester. This is the first lecture and in this lecture we'll try to give you an introduction to computer vision. And in the first module, we'll talk about some of the basics. Let's first try to understand uh, what exactly is computer vision. So computer vision is the ability of computers to understand and interpret visual data. By visual data, uh, we mean images or videos where uh, visual information is present. And with this visual information, we want to automate uh, some tasks which are actually very easy for human visual system. For example, if we look at this image, as a human, we can easily say that what different objects are present in this image. So we can say that a laptop is there, there is a, uh, there is a mug, there is a chair. And uh, apart from that, we can also localize where exactly these objects are present in this image. Uh, so in computer vision, what we want to do is we want computers to solve these kind of problems for us automatically. Now, before we go into the basics, uh, let's uh, first try to understand what are the other research areas which are uh, relevant to computer vision. In the Venn, uh, in the uh, Venn diagram shown here, you can see that computer vision is at the center. And we have a lot of other areas uh, which are like coming from biology, computer science, mathematics, and physics. So we can see that computer vision has some overlap with uh, neuroscience, cognitive science, uh, algorithms, information retrieval, machine learning, image processing. And uh, of course, like speech is not related to vision because it's kind of a different modality. And we do have some overlap with robot robotics as well, where uh, vision plays a very important role. Now, uh, visual perception is uh, very important for computer vision because visual perception tells us like uh, what is happening in our surrounding uh, in in our surroundings, and we can observe like different objects which are present in this 3D environment. So to to understand uh, this, we we can ask like a lot of different questions which are uh, actually quite interesting. So the first question here uh, I'm showing you is like the objects which we are seeing in our 3D environment, are they really present there or not? So the other question is, can we see like without being aware of what we are seeing? And uh, another relevant question um, to this is, if we are seeing something, does that mean that we are actually forming any visual perception or not? And th this happens a lot. I mean, sometimes your eyes are wide open and you're just looking at something, but your brain is not processing anything and you are unaware of what, what, what's happening in your surroundings. Okay, so the other thing is uh, why these objects which uh, are present like in a 3D environment, uh, they appear to be colored. So these are some interesting questions uh, which are uh, related to visual perception, which uh, we will try to answer. Now, uh, let's first try to understand uh, the definition of visual perception. So by definition, uh, it's process of acquiring knowledge about our environment. And there might be like different objects, different events happening. So we want to extract like some semantically meaningful information from these objects, from these events as like the light is emitted by these objects. And there could be a like reflection coming out, uh, out of these objects. So that light and reflection is actually used to perceive these objects and make interpretation about, about them. Uh, so this visual perception, there are multiple steps. Uh, the first step is vision, then there's some cognitive activity happening, and then there is a, there's the acquisition of knowledge. Now, if you compare uh, this with uh, like how we take photographs, so there is some analogy there. And in the figure here uh, on the top, you can see that um, it's model of an eye. And for example, we have this object uh, tree present there. So when some light is being like reflected uh, by this object, it passes through the lens. Uh, inverted uh, image is formed of this object on the retina and then our brain process that image and make interpretations such as like this object is a tree. Similarly, uh, we have a camera. Uh, we have the same object tree here and the light uh, which is reflected by this object, it's passed through the lens of the camera and an inverted image is formed in the uh, film of the, of the camera. And this process is just like capturing the visual information. It, it doesn't give like any interpretation which object is present. Which is actually really, uh, uh, which is actually very important. So regarding that visual perception, this is a very uh, interesting uh, cartoon. Uh, you can see here one person is actually seeing something, and he's asking like the other person to be careful about that, and the other person is arguing that uh, he can see it. He is not blind. Now, now the argument here is, whenever you are watching something, it doesn't mean you are perceiving it. All right. 
So to make it more clear, let me show you this example. Now, if you if you carefully look at this, uh, initially we'll just see like there are a bunch of dots out there, and then your brain will try to like interpret what's what's present in this image. It will try to form some some kind of uh, interpretation, right? It will try to create some objects, and uh, it, it will be difficult for some of you. I, I think it, it might be pretty easy. You can see like what's out there, but if I show you this image, then you can easily say that okay, a dog is present in this image, and the dog is sniffing the ground. Now, if I show you this image again, then without the boundary, all of you can easily interpret and you can see that uh, dog present in this image, which was actually very difficult when I haven't shown uh, shown like this, uh, this red boundary over the dog. Okay, so that kind of explains like, uh, it's not just uh, what you're seeing, but whether you are interpreting it correctly or not. So that completes the whole uh, process of visual perception. Now, let's try to compare uh, computer vision with a uh, human vision. Now, in human vision, we have eye as a sensing device, and then we have our brain, which performs like all the, all the interpretation. For example, in this particular image, uh, our brain, brain can easily tell us like, okay, what different objects are present. It can tell, okay, uh, a person is actually painting, so man is present, there's a trash can, there's a light bulb. So you can make like all those uh, semantic interpretations. Similarly, in computer vision, we try to mimic that. And instead of eye, we have this camera, which will capture this visual information. And then we'll have computers like uh, the computation power, which will try to make a semantic interpretation of whatever has been captured by this camera. And the goal is same, like, can we identify these objects present in this image? Now, this uh, vision is actually uh, a very uh, important uh, uh, it's very important for like uh, for us like as a human being because we day to day like we perform a lot of visual tasks tasks and we most of these like we are not very aware of but if you think about this if you don't have this vision you not will not you'll not be able to navigate in your environment right you won't be able to avoid obstacles so that's like a very uh, a very important thing uh, for us as a humans and that's just one thing but again there are a lot of different activities which we daily perform in our lives uh, Without like uh, without understanding that okay, computer vision or visual perception is being taken into account or not, right? For example, all the time we when we move in the environment, we, we try to recognize different objects present here, and sometimes we are focused if we see something new. But if it's something like we have seen before, then even before even like paying a lot of attention to that object, I mean our brain does the processing, and we know that okay, that object is present in that environment. So there are a lot of other visual tasks we perform on daily. And the goal is like, we want to transfer all these tasks to computers and we want computers to solve them automatically. So that's the goal for computer vision. Given like any visual information in form of images or videos, we'll have like these image pixels. We want to assign semantic meaning to those image pixels. Now let's try to understand why it's so difficult. So if you look at this image as a human, we can easily see that uh, there's a person reading a book and in the background as well, we can see it seems like a crowded a market, uh, market area maybe. But uh, let's try to understand what computers see in this image. So if you just focus on this uh, yellow portion here, and if you try to zoom in into that, so these numbers are actually something which is seen by the computer when this image is being processed. And that's something like which makes it very difficult because even as humans, if we just try to interpret what these numbers are, it's, it's quite difficult for us. 